Uruguay have just one thing on their minds. They promise to ensure that that contemplation of the past is theirs after 90 minutes. They have the luxury of blowing it in their own hands. Three points will be plenty to see them through. However, moving less than that, and it could become precarious. They look at the faces of the players, nothing but utterly focused. They know what they have to do. The big performance now will count. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Well, it really is a terrific sight here, and it goes to underline just how far this game could go towards shaping the fortunes of the team. Well, Peter, the, the question that comes to mind is how much do they want it? These players know that this could be the gateway for, for bigger things. Progression for starters brings greater financial reward, it increases the brand power, and can enhance the whole business side of things. Individual player profile elevation is also a huge incentive. Careers can be catapulted from this. It's worth remembering. And already we're underway here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Luis Suarez. He can score from anywhere, Peter. He's capable of the sublime, but he's also not afraid to use his physical attributes to dominate defenders or to scrap for those loose balls. He's got so much will to win. That's bound to inspire his new teammates and, hopefully for him, intimidate his opposition. I want to disagree with that. It's the sort of situation he thrives in. Bentancur hoists it forward. He's had that put on the plate. Clears it out of harm's way. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. It's come through. And it's Suarez. It's Lewis Suarez! Yes, it's in! Uruguay take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. That's the way you go about things if you want to qualify. It's superb. And here's Cavani. And he's got a clear. It's a loose ball. Breaks on here. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. And here's Cavani. Yes, right. Luis Suarez! He goes! Up off the rubble! They have done it again! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they could have had a turn of it because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really could have fallen in with this team. It was all very well done. starting to look very comfortable. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Battles to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Yeah, let's stop defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Jimenez, plus well there, alert. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. Torreira. Uruguay need a win here to make it through. And here's Suarez. And it's Cabal. It's good distance on it. Well, the whistle's gone. What's he given? Well, the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Uruguay presented with the perfect chance here to open. Luis Suarez! Just off target. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Casares cuts it out. Torreira. And here's Suarez. Cavani. And he's managed to get himself offside. Keeper sends it forward. Luis Suarez. Tries to get it forward quickly. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And the ball's come out. 
that's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. And it's the goalkeeper's to claim. The three's hand. And he's playing his whistle for half time. It's the first half that came with no expectation. Uruguay just didn't want the half time whistle to be blown. Convincing, we controlled. Run by all at half time and a comfortable two goal position. Into the last 45 minutes in this game of substantial significance. Casares. Torreira. Field. Godin. And here's Cavani. Luis Suarez. Has a pop. And it's gone. And they are pulling clear here. Look at that, that. That's him playing on the counter. Clearly decisive. And he was a finish. I bet it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Snap his third, and that earned him the match ball. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. And here's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Uruguay take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Bentancur. Torreira. Whitten. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace, so they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Defending was strong and firm. Luis Suarez. Suarez finds himself offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Talk about singling someone out. Well, he helps himself to a treble, Peter, and then they switch on. It's a bit late now. Torreira, and it's played forward. Now a chance to break. He gets past his man. Hit low and direct. Godin. It's Cavani. Bentancur sticks in a foot to win it back. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Being played forward. Godin. Torreira. And here's Cavani. Looking to get within range. And out to safety. Uruguay pulling back again. Chance to break. Cavani. Keeper sends it forward. Bentancur. Valverde. Oh, well defended, but it had to be done. This is not, that's a foul. Gets it upfield. Now it's Luis Suarez. Now it's Cavani. Gets the ball with his man. Cavani. Oh, shooting chance! And he should have made it four. I think he still deserves four marks for making his way through. It was a, it was a cracking run. Look, there are some very good headers of the ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to add to go at this. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Uruguay have their place in the knockout stage all but secure. Cavani really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Godin. The counter is on. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right. We couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Hoist it forward. 
Uruguay clearly seem to have lost their passing accuracy. Something they're obviously going to have to fix pretty quickly now. He's played it through. Going for goal! Uruguay are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds for the interception for the back of the net. It's going to attack ahead of him. Four in the game. He is the man. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Tries to get it forward quickly. the whistle. Uruguay has made it. All has to be knocked out stage confirmed. On to the business end. Very state a perfect two wins out of two and they appear set for. The end of the game. Reflections? Well, that is one big weight off the shoulders now. Progress that was unwarranted if you consider the performances to this point. And I think with the pressure off, they can already start their preparations for the next step, which uh, puts them in great position.